Stan Jibalisco here. I would like to explain a little project that you can do if you're of a mind to uh, and if you've been reading my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. If you have the fifth edition please re refer to page 600 where you'll find figures 32-9 and 32-10. In fact, you can go back to page 599 and read about modulated light and a little uh, communications uh, transmitter and receiver that you can build for a few dollars. <clears throat> I actually did this back when I was in high school uh, around 1970. Uh, does that date me or what? Anyway, I bought a little audio amplifier module from Radio Shack. I don't know if they still make these little things, but it put out about one watt of audio power. You could connect a simple microphone to it. It had its own built-in transformer, which was really nice. So you could connect a battery. And uh, in, in my case, I used a small incandescent flashlight bulb. I believe I used a 6-volt battery and a 6-volt lantern bulb, but a light-emitting diode or LED will work a lot better for that purpose. You'll need a current-limiting resistor to obtain the proper bias or voltage for this LED <clears throat> to get it to light about halfway, about to half brilliance. Uh, without any modulation in the microphone. Maybe a little more than half brilliance. Then when you speak into the microphone, the audio amplifier will impress this audio signal onto the voltage that the bulb or the light emitting diode sees. Or receives, I should say. And the result will be that the audio that you have spoken into the microphone or whatever other audio you might want to put in here will uh, come out and appear as amplitude modulated light. Um, if you want you can use a reflector or a Fresnel lens to focus the light into a beam, a narrow beam. In my case <clears throat> what I did was I used a, a, regular, a regular old lantern with its parabolic reflector and I had a, an actual lantern bulb and it was amazing that, that an incandescent bulb could actually be modulated quite well with voice uh, so that it would come out intelligible. Uh, th the interesting thing then was that at a distance I had a receiver and now I will show you the actual receiver circuit that I used. I had another one of these very same little audio amplifier modules from Radio Shack. The audio transformer here uh, needed to be a separate unit that I obtained uh, externally and, and applied to the input of this amplifier. Here I had a not a photodiode in this case I actually had a photovoltaic cell a solar cell so this battery power supply here was not necessary but anyway this solar cell or photodiode if you prefer now you notice you have to reverse bias this thing <clears throat> you have to follow the instructions and connect it up properly in any case you'll get a fluctuating voltage at the input to this transformer then the output will produce audio input very weak audio signal similar to what you would get out of a microphone into the input of that audio amplifier and then at the output you connect your headset uh, I you can also use a speaker a small speaker if the audio amplifier is powerful enough but I recommend a headset if you want you can install a potentiometer here to adjust the volume uh, so I had this arrangement and I actually made a little uh, <clears throat> adapter where I put this where I put this actually in my case it was a photovoltaic cell right here I put into the eyepiece uh, socket of a refracting telescope I believe it was a 60 millimeter 
diameter ref refracting telescope that I had uh, my dad had bought me for my birthday or Christmas or something like that and and I got about a hundred yards 200 yards away from the transmitter yards by the way in case you're not in the United States a yard is approximately one meter so I was a uh, maybe the length of a football field or two away from the transmitter and I pointed that telescope right at the transmitter and lo and behold if I couldn't hear what I was putting into that transmitter as I as I recall uh, it was Tchaikovsky's fifth symphony it was rather distorted coming out of a lantern bulb but this was a great demonstration of how modulated light can actually work and you can build circuits like this I don't know if you can get these little modules anymore at Radio Shack but you can build an audio amplifier just follow some of the instructions for amplifiers given elsewhere in this book once again the title of the book uh, is teach yourself electricity and Electronics, 5th edition, although previous editions have similar information in them, I'm using the 5th edition, and I recommend that you get the 5th edition as well. By the way, in this 5th edition, I also have web-based explanations for the answers to all the quiz questions at the ends of the chapters. Just go to my website, sciencewriter.net, and you'll find a little link that goes to quiz explanations. You can click on that, and you'll find web-based, text-based explanations. And you'll also find a link to uh, videos that explain the answers to all of the final exam questions. Uh, and uh, you'll also find some miscellaneous videos relating to the book of which this is one. They're all on YouTube and they're all in playlists. Some of my other books also I uh, have videos and web-based explanations. Just go to the quiz explanations link and follow it from there. My website once again sciencewriter.net. I don't think you need to capitalize the S. The, Corel draw that I'm using to generate this video does that automatically. Sometimes some of these programs are just a little bit too smart. Uh, I should have dumbed it down. But anyway, uh, with all that, I'll sign off here from the Black Hills of South Dakota, United States of America, and wish you a lot of fun. So long.